Hi, you guys. Welcome back to First Impression Friday. We have a new Big Four release. This is the Simplicity Summer Collection. Very exciting. Um, looking forward to see what we've got. Something I've seen some spoilers. This has been out for a minute. Um, and I'm pretty excited about them. Some patterns that I know um, will fill some holes in my stash. Um, so hopefully they live up to some of the promo picks that I've seen. But let's jump right into it, right? Let's see what we've got here. So um, this is a women's knit dress by Mimi G. Slim V-neck pullover knit dress in two lengths, have long or short sleeves, cut out back, and twist detail, and features contrast layout so we can see that here looks like center front seam and also like a neck binding here that comes to a bit of a v uh i've done this before in knits depending on how they have the instructions i've been successful doing it on a serger and then I've also kind of had some issues. So I am a little iffy on how easy this might be to sew, but it is really cute and very, very flattering. We've got this um, set in sleeve. I don't know if it's supposed to be this far off her shoulder because this is the seam here and like the top of her shoulder is way up here. So that just might be an issue of this not being drafted for this particular model, this particular fit model. Um, but she's wearing the knee length version. You can see like a nice deep one inch hem here. And then this is the contrast version. Now, somebody, I don't know if it was Amazon, Target, I don't know. I've seen this dress all over TikTok, all over television. Um, you might have seen it too. It was like pink and orange. So, very on trend um and you can see how well this looks here but yeah this sleeve is very low Ve I, yeah i don't know if this is just being like maybe pulled even pulled down off her shoulder but you can see where her bra strap is right here that little black thing i feel like this whole thing should be like way way way, way up here so i'm not entirely sure what's going on with that we'll look at the misses one and see if how that's playing out um oh but here's the cutout with the twist love that you guys remember the twist was like a thing about four years ago everybody and their brother was putting this twist on the front so i love that she's incorporated it into like a back detail with a little bit of a peekaboo on the lower back super cute and then she also swapped the contrast in the back too so the front has blue on this side and is it white on this side? And on the back, she swapped it. That's kind of cool. All right. And then here is our envelope back. Stretch knits only, rib knit and jersey. Yeah, rib knit for sure. Cotton jersey, absolutely. I wouldn't go into a rayon type of situation with a fitted dress like this. Um, and then this is body measurements from 40, the bust, up to 56. And then they do not provide a hip measurement. Oh, yes, they do. Hip, 9 inches below the waist. 42 up to 58. And then our finished measurements are 39 to 55. So 1 inch ease in the bust. I'm surprised there's positive ease there. That might have something to do with that falling off her shoulder. And then the hip has negative, what is that, two and a half inches? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about pattern drafting and, like, ease and all of that. I just think that when it's a knit, especially, like, something really stretchy, like rib knit, I, I, I don't know, maybe zero inches of ease would be better. Okay, so that's that. Excellent. Let's go take a look at the Mrs. version and see how this is fitting Mimi herself. Honestly, it's about the same. You can see it's kind of hanging off her shoulder too. Were there line drawings that I just missed? 
the back is really so cute. Oh, and then on her version, she kept them the same. I wonder if that was an accident <laughs> on the other one or if it's an on purpose. Let's see where the line drawings are. Here we go. Yeah, the line drawings don't really indicate that it is supposed to be a drop shoulder. So again, I'm not entirely sure why the shoulder seam is not sitting up high. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much. But I, I guess the part that bothers me is that if it wasn't intended to be like that, should we go through the trouble of altering it so that it, it sits where it's supposed to? It's almost like the shoulder seam needs to be where the neck band ends. I don't know. If I made this, I'm not sure if I would if I would try to fix that or just let it be. Because it doesn't look bad. It's just, was that the intent or no? All right, so those are those two. And now we have this Mrs. Caftan and Wrap. Caftans and wraps with front bands and self ties have flared sleeves with or without a flounce. All right, so we've got a. I don't see. Well, this one isn't a wrap. So this must be. The, oh, wait. It is open all through here and then it ties. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it now. So there is like a neck band that becomes like this center front band. You've got a little bit of a casing here for a drawstring, and then these are the flounces. This The way that they combine this fabric is so cool. I think this is two different fabrics. Isn't that neat? So you've got like this paisley one and then this like sort of ribbon striped one, but the colorway is so similar that they, it kind of, that looks so interesting to me. Um, very ready to wear. So, uh, that's really cute. So I'm as, assuming this is for like the beach, like a cover up? Or even like a robe. And also, is it stitched here? Is this is this stitched closed and then it's only open on the bottom? From these photos, I'm assuming that it is closed through here. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong for sure. This must be the wrap. Um, it looks like they do have belt carriers and then the separate belt here. And obviously this one is open through the center front bodice. Same here. So is the, are they, what, what is this? Is this a beach cover up? Is this a robe? Is this nightwear? Like lingerie? Like, um, where do you wear this? Oh, here's the back. Yeah, not much to say about the back. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 mm, yeah, okay. It's fine. Cute. I just don't know where I would wear it. I guess the pool, right? The beach. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like stumped. I've stumped myself. But I guess it is what it is, right? Don't try and make it something more or less. It just is. So we do have the longer version. Actually, it looks like there's three lengths. There's B. Doesn't D look longer than B? And then I think A and C might be the same length. I don't know. The way that they do these line drawings are so confusing sometimes. But this comes in sizes 6 to 24. Chalet, Charmeuse, Cotton Blends, Cotton Lawn, Crepe Machine, Double Gauze, Laundered Silk, Lawn, Rayon, and Soft Linen Blends, and Voile. So some of these, yeah, I think it could be either. I think they're pitching this either as a beach cover-up, because like Chalet, Cotton Blends, Linen Blends, Voile, Cotton Lawn, all those are great for, you can get them wet, you can have a wet bathing suit on underneath, and those fabrics will be fine, but... Some of this stuff, like laundered silk, crepe de chine, you probably wouldn't want to be wearing that on the beach. So that would be good for like lounging around the house, <clears throat> just like a house coat kind of cover up type thing. I can't say that I need something like that in my life, but those of you that live at the beach, maybe you see, saw this and was like, yes, absolutely, I need that. 
I would wear it all the time. Our bust measurement is 30 and a half up to 46 with no finished measurements. Nope. Oh, please refer to the English guide for finished garment measurements. Well, that's not helpful online. And then the hip is 32 and a half to 48. But I have no idea how much ease. It didn't look like there was a ton of ease in the hip, especially in the back. Um, the waist is adjustable, so that's kind of like a moot point. But there is a lot of ease in the bodice and sleeve too. All right. That's that. Now we have this little dress. This is Mrs. Flared ankle length dress and jumpsuit with buttoned back bodice, has a shaped midriff tier and cut out dipped back with elastic. All right, so we've got a kind of bandeau type bodice, right? With like sort of like spaghetti straps, um, high waist, like empire waist seam center front seam all the way down and then all of these tiers maybe just two tiers okay yeah two tiers this is the jumpsuit i think so this is giving me do you oh god i didn't put it on youtube but i did do like an instagram thing about it i saw this little romper on a on a um boutique website and like kind of just made it up um, this is very similar to that. I think the version that I was mocking up had more tiers than this, but very similar. So good to see that there's an actual pattern for that. Um, for those of you that like the look of what I was trying to do, um, but didn't want to do all of the work. I get it. I get it. Okay. So here is the back and... This was brought to my attention in my Instagram DMs about how there is a button back here and how challenging it might be to button this yourself because it's like um, covered buttons and then the little tiny button loops like uh, the back of a wedding dress. Um, so depending on how like you know, is the word dexterous, is that right? Depending on how, like, you know, good you are with your fingers, that might be really hard to execute on your own. Like, I'm surprised there's not, like, bra hooks, or at least the bar and a hook. Um, so if I were to make this, which I do love, the back design is really, really adorable and, like, perfect for summer, um, I would probably try and figure out another way to get in and out of this. Um, I see why we couldn't do a side zipper. I see why a back zipper doesn't make any sense either. The best I can think of is to just do it like a bra hook or like a, or like one of those bathing suit hooks. Um, I don't know if they make them this long, but certainly something along those lines would be better than, I just don't know if I'd be able to close this on my own, but the little scoopy back with the elastic, super sweet. And again, just repeating that center back seam with the tiers. You can see the buttons a little bit better here. This is the jumpsuit version. So they aren't putting the line drawings in the little carousel of photos anymore. I don't really like that, but silky types, gauze, rayons, cottons, for sure. And then lining fabric or lightweight cotton. So some part of this is lined. I think it might be the bodice. How much lining? A half a yard? So yeah, I think it's just that little bandeau bodice. And then it looks to be three inches of ease in the bust. That hardly seems right. This looks like a very fitted bodice. I would for sure double check that. 
I don't think you need three inches of ease for that at all. Um, and then the waist, remember it's got a higher waist seam. So this is going to be really roomy. Um, oh, they don't even give us the finished garment measurements for the waist or the hip because it is so roomy. But three inches of ease for the bust? I don't know about that, guys. I don't know. I would for sure at least muslin the bandeau, right? Maybe even just make up your lining and try that on first. I imagine you'll be able to take, I, I mean, you don't need that much wearing ease in your bust. So yeah, for sure double check that. Um, but it is a super, super cute design. And you know what, like, I know this is a lot of fabric. Like, what are they saying for the fabric requirements? <clears throat> yeah, almost five yards. Well, three and some odd yards for the 60-inch fabric, four and something else for the jumpsuit. A really good way to get a lot of fabric for not a lot of money is sheets at Goodwill especially if you can find a set that has the flat sheet and the fitted sheet you could probably make this for like less than ten dollars but all those fabrics too like the silky types the lightweight cottons all of that are they can be pretty affordable as well you know what I mean they're not like the most expensive fabrics in the world so you could probably find a good um solid cotton garment fabric like a wall or whatever it is um even on sale on like fabric.com for you know a few bucks a yard all right pull over empire v-neck knit dress in two lengths with back ties have long sleeves with ruching detail short sleeves or sleeveless knit dress okay so this is um you know, early 2000s, kind of been there, done that. If you've been sewing since then, you probably have something like this in your stash. This is not a revolutionary design. Um, having the little knot here right at the, like, right at the, at, it's like the lower bust, I guess, the underband of your bust, um, with the ruching coming up. Again, seen it, been there. You know, we've all had this dress in our closet, whether we made it ourselves or not at one point or another. It is universally flattering. I do feel like this is going to look good on every single body type that's out there. I don't care what kind of fruit you are. It's going to look good on you. Um, I just don't know. For me, I'd probably wear it and be very comfortable and confident in it. I don't know that it would be something that I pull out when I'm really trying to like show off my best self. Um, it's a little bit dotty in a way. Oh, look, little baby bump. Yeah. I mean, this even further illustrates whether you're an apple, you know, or a pear or whatever it is, or if you have like an actual human growing in your belly, that this is flattering um, on all those body types. Full bust would look exceptional. Um, because we've got this band right underneath the bust, cinching it in, super small part of everybody's body, um, super flattering. I'll give it that. So here is the long sleeve version, and it does have a little ruching detail on the sleeve. The short sleeve version. The maxi dress actually... I could see that being some like a real showstopper for like a wedding, um, some kind of special event, even looking toward the holidays. Like you could find like a sparkly knit fabric and this would be stunning. It has the back tie, which is attached on the side seam. I think I saw that in one of the photos. Let's see if I can find it again. Oh yeah. So here you can see how this is stitched down. So I really like that because then you're not trying to keep up with a belt. Um, I like that it ties in the back. Yeah. I mean, it's a good one to have, I think, in your stash. And I do think it would look good on literally everyone. 
maybe the type of fabric would, yeah, I could see myself finding a knit, like a jersey knit that I just like love, 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 loved, and that making it a little bit more updated. Maybe this like teal blue is also very early 2000s. Like, remember when home decor, clothes, like literally everything was this like blue and brown and beige. I know you all had some pillow or something that had those colors like in circles. <laughs> it was like modern with these like really interesting color combo. So maybe that's why I'm feeling a little bit like too on the nose with that trend from 20 years ago, but in the right fabric, like the floral is nice too. I can see that on a holiday, on a vacation, on something like that. But I think a solid might be like a good bright colored solid too. Might be really nice. Or like I said, something like very specialized for a holiday or a special event or something like that. Super, super cute. Let's look at the envelope back. Okay, so stretch knits only such as jersey, ITY, bamboo jersey knit. Yeah, all of those would be really good. Rayon jersey probably. You could get away with the super drapey fabrics on this one because it is already like a drapey garment. Um, cert not, certainly would not go heavier than a cotton jersey. Um, that would just be too, too bulky. Um, but yeah really really great in some of the cotton jerseys that are available to us now all right six to 24 is the size range on this our bust has five inches of ease which i think most of that is like living it is a roomy bust you can see that here because it does have all of this gathering and stuff so five inches seems like a lot um but I can see how it could be possible too. And then that's it. They're not giving us a waist because the tie is really what creates your waist. And then the hip is just so roomy that you don't have to worry about that. But again, more than three yards for all of the versions. So keep that in mind. But again, jerseys can be very affordable too. Especially if you just want to try it out and see if it's something that you know, wearable muslin type of thing. Okay, look at this little cutie. This is a pullover dress top. Pullover dress and knit top by Elaine Heigl. Have we seen Elaine Heigl before? I wish that there was like a link to where we could like learn more about her. Well, either way, easy pullover dress has scoop neck, sculptural gathered skirt and side panels with origami inspired pockets. Knee length dress is sleeveless and can be worn over boxy knit top with neck band and all in one short sleeves. Below knee length dress has short flutter sleeves. Are she, is she saying you can wear the dress over the top? Possibly. Okay. This fabric is really fun. Uh, scoop neck, sleeveless here. I don't think there's a single dart, right? Very boxy. We've got this waist seam that leads to a gathered skirt. And then the skirt kind of does this little thing here. And then the pockets are in there somehow folded up. And then also this asymmetry type thing. What do we think about this like balloon situation? on for example someone like me with pear shape you think that would accentuate that i guess it would depend on the fabric right if it were like a super structured fabric but this one kind of looks like a little bit closer to the body it's not sticking out as much and i think this is the little flutter sleeve which is actually quite sweet in this like plaid gauzy type fabric and then Okay, so no, this is not the same. Okay, so she's just saying a separate boxy top you can wear the sleeveless version over. But this sleeveless version looks like it scoops down a lot more. 
or they just hide it really well in this photo. That might be what they're doing. Yeah, I kind of love the simplicity of it all. But it's like, you know, how I always talk about basic with a twist. This is exactly that. It's easy to wear. It's comfortable. It's loose. There's not a single closure, button, dart, none of that. But it's interesting to look at. It's not just like a boxy dress. And it says easy to sew. So there's that. Um, we'll look at the line drawings here in a second. You can see the backs of them there. Yeah, the arm opening does look super, super deep. Okay, um, cotton types, linen types, calico, bark cloth, chambray, seersucker, madras, crepe, double gloss. Yeah, any of those like uh, light to mid-weight wovens are going to be your go-to. Nothing silky, nothing drapey, still stable, but lighter weight, breathable, natural fibers, all very good for this. And then... Uh, maybe I stand corrected again. Maybe this the t-shirt she was wearing is included because we have C here, which is in stretch knits. So this is woven. The dress is woven and the top is knit. So yeah, like two patterns in one. That's kind of cool. And then it comes in alphanumeric sizing, extra small to extra large, which translates to six to 24. You have a roughly 30 and a half inch bust up to 46 with eight inches of ease in your bust. Yeah, very roomy, almost like a jumper, almost like a, you know, like a, is that what those things are called? Jumpers? Um, kind of a lot of fabric, one yard-ish wonder for your knit top though. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Again, perfect for a Goodwill sheet recycle. All right, so yeah, the arm size are very deep. They did an excellent job of hiding that in the first photo. So I'm not entirely sure how that would go if you truly wanted to wear it sleeveless you might need to raise this up a little bit. But if you're only intending on wearing it with the t-shirt, you'd be good. Um, this, yeah, even this, I feel like with the flutter sleeve, you raise your arm, you can see straight through. So that might be the thing that I double check on this, only if I intend on wearing it raw dog <laughs> without, without any layering piece underneath. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of cool. And I would love to see what she means by these origami pockets. I would love to see kind of how that comes together. That feels like new and fresh and exciting and interesting to me um, to, to sew that, to actually execute something like that. All right, now we have another caftan and wrap. So this is the same pattern as the, whatever, that earlier one that we looked at. This is in the women's sizing. So this is just a repeat, but we can look at the photos again. And I'm thinking this is definitely sewn closed at this point. And then it's open from the waist down. So if you're doing that, couldn't you just sew all of this closed too and then have like an actual dress? I say yes. But you can see here kind of a flaw in the execution of this is that you can see the wrong side of the fabric. Um, you can see like a lot of this seam, so you might want to try and make sure you have a fabric that is pretty on both inside and outside, and then make sure you're finishing this seam in a very beautiful way. Here, remember that how I showed you the other one had two different fabrics too? That's what they're illustrating here. And then there's your robe, which would also make kind of a cool cardigan. I do wish, though, if they're going to make two versions, like one for misses and one's, one for women's, that they would sew the sample garment of one view for one listing and then sew the other view for the other listing. Like, if the misses had the caftan, then this one I want to see the wrap. You know what I mean? So if anybody out there from Simplicity is watching... <laughs> Just a little note. 
Uh, Shally, Charmeuse, Cotton Blend, same thing as before. This is bust of 40 to 54. Um, and remember, the finished garments are in the... Probably because they don't matter too, too much. It's a very loose-fitting garment. Um, so if you bought based on your body measurements, you'd be fine-ish. Okay, now we have a top and skirt. Ooh, I am... <laughs> I have thoughts already. Okay, cropped halter top has bust and waist darts and side seam zipper with variation for low or high back. Tiered, tiered fitted waist skirt in two lengths. Has working front buttons, soft gathers, and trim options. Initially, especially this, like, kind of pulled out view... I'm thinking the proportions on this are really strange. Like I'm all for a halter top, crop top, and a skirt, but it seems like the skirt should be more high-waisted and this should be more cropped. So like this band should be half its size and this band should be double its size. Because I'm imagining, because so she's obviously a slim, straight size model, right? My body is going to be a lot curvier starting from my waist down through here. Um, so for me, yeah, I would just want the skirt to be up here and the top, like the thinnest part of my body is higher than this. Do you see what I'm saying? And then we have the buttons that go only halfway down into a ruffled tier, which, okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm like deciding. I think I'm okay with that. Um, the top has a side zipper. Huh. Okay. What's the back look like? This one with the trim is cute. Okay, so they gave her a side zipper to avoid that problem that we saw with Mimi G's pattern where it's like, how do you get into this? Um, yeah, I just think this should be whatever depth this is. And then this should be whatever depth this is. Just swap the bands. Can't you just swap the bands? Um, or just attach them together and make a cute dress. A cute halter top dress. And extend the zipper down and remove those buttons. So, yeah. some. I think I, if I were to get this pattern, it would be like I would redo it a little bit. I don't love it as is. I need to figure out how to mash these two things together or swap out the band so the proportions were better for a woman's figure. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Those. That's my thought on that. But I think the top, like with some high-waisted jeans alone, would be really cute. The skirt, obviously, by itself with a regular top would be really cute. I just, I just want to reach in here and hike up this skirt. Like everything in me is telling me that the skirt is just way too low. But if you just raise it, then it's like, what's the point of having it be two pieces? Well, I guess that could be cute too, where it looks like one piece dress, but really it's two pieces. I feel like I owe it to the world to buy this pattern and make it in a way that shows how cute it can really be, how flattering it can really be, how just better it can be than this. What do you say? Y'all up for that? Here's the back envelope. So all of those same structured lightweight cottons. And then the bodice is lined. Yep, just the bodice is lined. Or honestly, maybe even just the bands. I don't know if the whole bodice is lined or not. Um, and then there's a lot of notions in this. So you have your little four inch separating zipper. Which, do they even make those? <laughs> I think I maybe six and you just chop off the top. 
And then you also have lace or trim. Remember the one B has a little trim on the bottom, which I do think is really cute. Um, five buttons for the front of the skirt and trim for the bottom of D. And then your body measurement. So this is a size four to 22. So they are kind of pitching this for like if there was a juniors category in sewing, this is what that would look like. The design is a little bit youthful and they've also pushed all the sizes down one. So instead of being six to 24, like all the other patterns we've seen, this one is four to 22 to give you this 29 inch bust um, for those more petite people, whether they, whatever age they are. Um, so 29 inch bust. Yeah. See how this has no ease in the bust. That's what makes me think the Mimi G one, something's off with that because that is even closer fitting than this is. You know what I mean? So three inches that she had is just seems like something went wrong with the math or something. And then the hip, because it is like a mermaid, is it mermaid? No, no, not mermaid. What is it whenever it's fitted through the hip and then flares out? Mermaid, right? I don't know. Either way, the hip measurement does matter. So we have 31 and a half hip to 30. So there's six inches of ease in the hip. So plenty of comfy wearing ease. Some people just might not like this seam going right through their bum. So, but if you don't like that, then just eliminate this part, move the gathered portion up, um, and just have like a gathered skirt with a waistband. And you can still do the buttons down the, the entire front probably. So see what I mean? I just feel like at every turn, there's like a reworking situation. Let me look at the back skirt on her. So like her full bum is here. This is a little bit lower than that. And maybe it's okay. Maybe it'd be okay. But like, you know, my bum sits nice and juicy, <laughs> full, and sits a little bit high. So this would hit like right underneath like the, my cheeks. I'd have to try it. I don't know. It could be okay. But it could be a hot mess. So here are our line drawings. You know what else I would do if I'm going ahead and like making all these changes, I would eliminate this zipper and sure the back. So you can just pull it on. Cause you just tie this up. So what's happening in the bodice in the bust area doesn't really matter. It's just this band is so tight. Plus, wouldn't it be more comfortable to have it be a little bit elastic -y? You could just sure between these two panels here, this center back piece, and you'd be fine. And then it also might be kind of cute to sure this part. So, uh, yeah. I mean, lots of fun options that you could do with this. I guess it can kind of just be a little bit of a blank slate. But I don't know that I would make it just as is. Okay, vintage girls, we've got this re-released Jiffy pattern from the 1960s. Why is it freaking adorable? And there's two pattern pieces. Direct from the Simplicity Archives, this 1960s simple to sew A-line dress has back zipper, shoulder straps, and front and back darts. Dress comes in above knee and midi lengths and can be customized with daisy medallions rhinestones or beaded trims look at these amazing darts i want this i'm not a vintage girl and but if you like cover their hair so freaking cute especially this one is very like 90s adjacent you know the little baby doll dress imagine those um so cute with tennis shoes. Oh, and for what it's worth, the daisy trim idea is so cute. I'm seeing daisy trim 
everywhere. I just watched um, The Summer I Turned Pretty. And at some point during that show, she has on a crop top. The main character has on a crop top with daisy trim around the hem of it. I was like obsessed. The rhinestone trim, very like, I'm a Vegas performer. <laughs> very Mrs. Maisel, okay? Um, I can see her wearing that on stage. And then this one just bopping around town, even with the little hair thing and sneakers nowadays. So cute. Two pattern pieces, apparently. Fisheye darts, I already see them. Yeah, this is amazing. Cotton types, linen types, PK. Oh, would be perfect in PK. Damask, brocade, satin, chantong. Yeah, like a year-round dress. You have your 16-inch zipper in the back. The trim, either rhinestones, beaded, or your medallion trim. The bust has two and a half inches of ease. Totally appropriate. The hip. We're not going to get a hip measurement or a waist finish measurement, but it's the 6 to 22 size range. So they did eliminate the 24. So the depending on how much ease there is in the hip, there's a chance that this would not fit me. I'd have to rework it, but there's only two pattern pieces. Yeah, there's only two pattern pieces because the trim is what becomes your strap. Okay. Oh, no, this one does have a little baby strap here. So I guess technically there's three pattern pieces. But, I mean, look at this shaping. You have a lapped zipper, which, I mean... So on point for 1960s. I freaking love it. I'm definitely getting this one. This one is coming home with mama at the next sale. Because <laughs> I'm not paying $15.37 for it. Okay, here's a fun one. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll get into my thoughts. But initially... I like it, and I get how some of you are thinking what's wrong with you, but I'll explain why I like it here in a second. Okay. Easy pullover, swingy flare dress, and above knee length have wide round neckline, side seam pockets, and can be made sleeveless or with short sleeves. Dresses have patchwork piecing, perfect for creative fabric mixing. And that's the part I like about it. This fabric, I don't like like brown and orange and beige. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But I do think like in a mixture of seersucker, right? Imagine the different colors of seersucker. Um, could be really cute, especially if you turn some of them. So they were going sideways and some were going diagonal and some were going straight up and down. Um, even in like different shades of denim, different shades of chambray could be really cute. So just imagine this not in this like homesteady colorway. I bet it would be super fun to sew also. So here they went with chambray or at least like cotton something or another. Um, I'd keep it all monochromatic, but they decided to put in like more of like a red, white, and blue situation. She seems very unhappy about it, but probably because they just made her hold these paintbrushes for no reason. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this setup? Like, yeah, I guess she's about to paint something. But um, yeah, I love the swinginess of it. I love, yeah, I love everything about it. It seems to fit really well. Um, I'd probably opt for the sleeveless version. Yeah, it's just really cute. Really cute. You, you could have a lot of fun with fabrics with this. Dare I say you could probably even use a quilting cotton on this. And because they have so many great coordinating prints, you could have a lot of fun with that. So cotton types, linen types, chalet chambray, madras, gingham. Yeah, even different shades of gingham could be really fun. Or the different sizes of gingham like you have a quarter inch half inch and one inch gingham mixing all that together would be fun like that other the who remembers the black and white gingham 
dress I made with all the different size gingham like that. So this is six to 24, but alphanumeric sizing. So extra small to extra large and then very loose fitting all around. Um, they didn't even really include the finished garment measurements um, just because bust, waist, and hip are all very loose fitting. Perfect for summer, right? That you don't want anything super clingy. Um, and then here's the yardage that you need all broken up. And then anything that's white over here is what this measurement indicates. Okay, cool. I like it. I would not sew in the pockets. You guys know I don't like pockets that are just floppy in here. Um, maybe, would it be weird to have one pocket <laughs> and just have it anchored right here? That's strange, right? Yeah, no, don't do that. Um, but that's just a personal preference of mine. Some people don't mind floppy pockets, but I, to me, it's like a sensory thing on the inside. I'm like, it always feels weird and it doesn't lay right sometimes. Okay, here is another little crop top, pants, and short set. Now, for whatever reason, even though her belly button is showing, the proportions on this seem better than the last crop top set we saw, even though that girl's belly button wasn't showing. And I'm not going to be able to tell you why I don't have a problem with this one, but I do have a problem with the other one. I, I don't know. E, uh, but the description is relaxed shirt with back yoke and cropped shirt with open back have drop shoulders and elbow length sleeves, straight leg, cropped pants, and shorts have patch pocket details. Okay. So, of course, we're getting like a 70s vibe from this. Um, the fabric really kind of hammers that idea home as well. Um... The pants, <sighs> maybe now that I'm looking at them close up, I do want to hike them up a little bit. I, I don't know that I would ever try and make pants like this for myself anyways, because I just don't think pencil pants look great on me. Um, but like this situation that's happening here, makes me feel like they've just, and it also like this too, this here makes me feel like this whole thing needs to be sitting up higher. I don't know. The idea of it is really cute though. And I mean, that's just a great shirt pattern. So, okay, fine. Maybe you pair this top even with like another skirt, a high-waisted skirt. Yeah, it's your classic, you know, mid-century pencil pant. Kind of a longer inseam short, almost like a board short. <gasps> the back. Is the other shirt, the long shirt, have this back too? I need this shirt. The pants, I, I wouldn't even bother. But this shirt is so cool. I just love something different, you know? where it's like you think that you know what it is and then you see something about it and you're just like, oh my God, no, like I've never seen that before. And this is not difficult to achieve. Most of these um, collared shirts have a back yoke. This one just happens to have a curved one um, and then a little cutout, but I just love that detail. So I would do this, I'd probably keep the waistband of the pant but just make it a skirt instead, which it's a really, really simple alteration to do. I, I believe that um, seam work somewhere along the way with one of their patterns had, you know how they have that little extra thing where they show you how to hack one of the garments into something else? I feel like they showed how to take a crotcheted garment and turn it into a skirt. So this is going to be your structured lightweight cottons again, six to 24, lots of ease in the bust and then in the hip and waist for that matter. Well, they're not giving us a waist measurement, but in the hip, there's not a lot of ease at all, four inches. So 
Oh, but no, the other shirt does not have that. I mean, you could, certainly, that's not an issue, but um, they do give you an option where it's closed up. So for those of you that are like, oh, I don't like cutouts, here's the option without it. Yeah, super fun. Okay, now we have tunic, cropped top, pants, and shorts. <laughs> Sleeveless raised waist pullover tunic with surplus back, kind of like a crossover situation, and cropped top with button back, meaning difficult to get into, are relaxed fit. Bootleg pant and Bermuda shorts have slash pockets and side zippers. So, is this the seam? What is this? Something, something's weird about this. Let me see, maybe more. Nope, that looks totally normal. The crop top is really cute. Again, you can hack this out of any other basic tank that you have. You just add a ruffle to the bottom. And then there's your pant. Super cute for those of you that are like not extra curvy, I think. Although if you're extra curvy and you like a bootleg, go for it. Not for me though. But yeah, I don't know why her top looks so funky. What is Biscuit eating? Oh, my shoe. No, thank you. <laughs> no biscuit. I thought it was going to be time for them to take a nap, but I guess not. Um, anyway, so suggested fabrics are cottons, poplin, linen, denim, chambray, silky types. And then some portion of this is lined. How much lining? Interfacing. Where's the, there's no lining. Lining, pockets. So just your pockets, okay. Um, notions, bias tape for A and B, so that's for the arm side. Three buttons, so it doesn't button up the whole back, it's just like the top three. And then an invisible zipper for your pants and shorts. The bodice has two and a half inches of ease in it. The hip has two inches of ease. So very close fitting hip. No, thank you. Not for me. Um, let's look at the line drawing so I can get a better look at the back. So yeah, this is a basic tank with a, a bus dart and a little ruffle added to the bottom. Even if you like this little surplus thing, you could hack that too. Yeah, and then, I don't know, some other kind of short for me. Because I just can't do, like, my body is more like this. <laughs> it's like way, way curvier. So it's just a lot of work. I have to just make my hip size and then take in the waistband a ton. Which isn't difficult, I know that. But I also just don't love the way it looks on me. So... You know, I'm never going to be somebody that's like jumping through, um, jumping, like getting all excited about a slim fitting pant. It's just not me. All right. Tops, pants, and shorts again. Tops are hip or cropped length with sleeve variations and have princess seams with elastic waist. Okay. Creating a peplum effect. Yeah, I see that. Wide leg pants or shorts with front buttoned flap start one inch below waist. Okay. So this is giving me, I mean, the pants do not fit her, but if, if it did, this is giving me very chic, elegant vibes, even something appropriate for the office even maybe a special event. Um, yeah, I'm getting like mother of the bride, you know, I'm getting just really chic. Um, I do think the princess seams with the elastic 
through the waist is actually really cute. I love how this remains flat. I think that's pretty flattering. Um, I would probably crop it so that it, you know, wasn't so long. Don't they have a version? Yeah, okay. So I quite like this. Um, even extending this into a dress I think would be really adorable. The sleeve version, also super cute. And then these are the pants. This is the flap that they were talking about. I do love this style of pant very much. Um, but, and the shorts are cute too. But, well, see her back fits pretty good. Um, maybe she's mm, short-waisted? Because this also seems a little bit low. And it does seem like they've been tucking in some arm size because they might be a little bit too big. I see you, but on the front, this is so low. Also, why would they put her in the version where we can't see the cutest part about the pants? Or at least give us a photo where she's like, I don't know, pulling up her shirt or something <laughs> where we can see the pants fitting because that ain't it. That is like her, the drop crotch on her. But in the back, it looked okay. So, hmm, that's very worrisome. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so the envelope back is here. Cotton types, lightweight denim, linen types, poplin, and sateen. Okay, I'm here for a stretch sateen moment in the pants. Or any stretch woven, for that matter. Uh, zipper, elastic, bias tape, and buttons. The bust is pretty loose fitting. It has five inches of ease. The hip. C and D have a different hip measurement by an inch. Why would they do that? Does one sit lower than the other? Maybe. I don't know. But the pants have a three inch ease and the shorts have a four inch ease. All right. And then like an interface waistband, interface neckband. Um, so yeah, could be cool. I do like the idea of it very much. Okay, this is Mrs. Blouse. Super cute. Semi-fitted deep V-neck or round neck blouse. Has center front buttons and self-loop closure. With underlap and lace trim options. Blouse has variations for gathered or flared sleeves or sleeveless. All views have back waist darts. Back waist darts and a top? Okay. Super cute. Love, love, love. Love this little opening. Love the trim here. Love the gathers for the bust. The little, the little buttons going through the center front. The princess seam. Love the sleeve version. Flounce sleeve, super cute. Here's the back. So there are darts that come up all the way to here, I think. So it's like a fisheye dart that just isn't a fisheye. <laughs> same, same concept. I love this. She does too. Look how cute she feels. I get it, girl. Okay, here is our back envelope. Chalet, charmeuse, cotton lawns, cotton blends, crepe de chine, gingham, soft linen blends, silky types, and voile. Yeah, lightweight to, um, well, they're all pretty lightweight, but structured to drapey, even. Super cute. And then our bust has six inches of ease. That seems like a lot. Oh, but maybe because of the... Yeah, it does seem a little more fitted than six inches of ease, right? Like through here, that seems not like six inches of ease to me. Did I read that right? Yeah, well, five and a half inches. 
So maybe worthy of sizing down. I don't know. Or at least like <sighs> sizing down the back. I don't know. I'd have to get it and look at it. But I do really like it. Um, I can see myself getting this one too. Cute. All right. Now we've got this little number. Um, pull over blouse in two lengths has v-neck and options for long balloon sleeves with elastic hem or flutter sleeves again this is one of those things where you can just take any top you have you chop off the bottom and put in one inch elastic that's all this is um, but that said I do love this little pleat detail is very beautiful with the raglan sleeve yeah that's really cute there's the peplum version and then there's a version with no elastic at all and then that's the version the model is wearing flutter sleeve this would be super cute with an equally wide elastic banded skirt or shorts they gave her some flared button jeans. The back has the little pleat detail too. Yeah, that's really cute to me. I like that. Good top so far. Shally Charmeuse cotton lawn, soft cotton blends, crepe de chine, gauze, silky types, wall, and even knits. Um, so really like any fabric you have <laughs> this would be good for um six to 24 on the sizing and then yeah the elastic is how you fit the waist the hip is very roomy and the bot the bust is really roomy too so no finished garment measurements but that kind of makes sense and bias tape somewhere maybe in the neckline or maybe that's how you, I bet that's how you make the casing on the inside. Yeah, one and a half inch wide elastic on that guy. Yeah, I think the neckline is really, really pretty. And the raglan, I love a good raglan sleeve pattern. Okay, now we have this. Very, um, space cadet, space, space suit. What am I thinking? I'm picturing it in like, like reflective silver. What am I thinking of? Some character or in something. Uh, crew neck top has elastic smocking at waistline, armhole ruffle and gusset and sleeveless option. V-neck top has drawstrings for an adjustable fit at front or plain front. All tops have bust starts and back heel opening with button closure. Okay. So we've got this uh, I, faux shirring is the best I can call it because you make a whole bunch of casings and then run your elastic through it. But if you know how to do shirring with elastic thread, I would just do that. <laughs> um, to make this cute little like peplum situation here. And then you have this ruffle um bib looking thing you can see the facing through here this is what they were talking about the adjustable drawstring it adjusts the length um and then there's a top with like nothing happening at the bottom and then that's the version she was wearing i think maybe her version would be a little bit more easy on the eye if the fabric was drapier but because it's just basically like just cotton, it's just sticking out, you know, um, sticking out here, sticking out here. Um, plus with the high neck, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like a lot. There's the back with your little keyhole. So, you know, pretty easy to get in and out of. Also easy construction without a zipper. And, you know, lots of options. But I think something way lighter weight um, would make this seem a little bit more approachable, maybe. 
here's the back where they're recommending batik, chambray, cotton lawn, soft cotton blends, dotted Swiss, double gauze, gingham, soft linen blends, poplins, seersucker, shirtings, silky types, and wool. So they don't really have anything lightweight, um, like drapey, silky types, which I think this would be suitable for as well, especially the ones that don't have this situation happening. So, 6 to 24 on the size range. Our bust has 5 inches of ease in it, which I don't think she has. I don't think it's 5 inches for her. So, again, that might be a little bit much. And then here are the bags. Front, front, back, front, front, back. Okay. Cute. Now we have, I think I have this fabric or have had this fabric. Isn't that one of the art gallery walls? Pretty tops. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny that they tell us. This is pretty. <laughs> pretty tops have high, low hem with hook and loop fastener tape at back closure for easy on and off dressing. So more of that adaptive uh, wear. Uh, details include a necktie collar, a cowl collar, and color blocking. Very easy, they say. So from the front, we have the neck band with a necktie. Other than that, it is a pretty simple shirt. Here's the hook and eye. And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, why can't, even though I don't have an issue with mobility, couldn't I just do that? <laughs> like on that Mimi G dress, couldn't we just put some Velcro in the back and call it a day? Um, I don't see why not. Now, does this have Velcro all the way up and down? Maybe. Oh, wait, no, it looks like it stops here. Here's the color blocking. Um, wow, just like an interesting choice all around. <laughs> With this white background, the khaki pants. I mean, I get that we're like trying to appeal to a certain demographic with an adaptive top, but come on. Come on, she can be chicer than this. Um, but they gave her the little cowl version. Yeah, and I do think that it un velcros, undoes itself all the way down to here. So, yeah, and it looks like they're going to make this like a regular part of their collections. Oh, and then there's this version too, which has this seam. Wait, is that what she's wearing? I couldn't even tell that there was a seam there. So here is our... The pattern back, Georgette, Crepe Machine, Wall, and Stable Knits. Fusible interfacing, your hook and loop tape, and then bias tape for the sleeves, or the sleeveless opening, the sleeve opening. 6 to 22 on the size range. So our finished bust only goes up to 51. And there's 7 inches of ease in this blouse, which that makes sense. Very loose fitting. And then I wanted to see the line drawing too because, yeah, there are little shoulder darts in the back, which is great for a little bit of shaping. No, they definitely put her in this version. And then this is just a third version, which is really cool. Yeah, cute. Now we have... This guy, we're finally into pants and skirts. All right, wide leg pants and skirt have elasticized waistband and functional button placket on side seams. Pants have variations for long and cropped lengths. So this is the kind of pant that I would pair with any of those crop tops we've seen already. High-waisted, elastic waist, fun detail down the side, wide leg, Super cute. 
Yeah, I really like these pants. The skirt. I don't know about the skirt. But the pants are super cool, especially like they're kind of hinting at here if you left some of this unbuttoned. Right? So fun. That's kind of alluding to more of like a drapey fabric, a silky type fabric. Yeah, a lot of fun. Love that. And I guess this is A, so this is this, but there's also like a cropped version. But why couldn't you make them into like Bermuda short length too? That would be kind of cool. They're so like relaxed, it would almost look like a skirt. Fabric requirements, shally cotton blends, double gauze, soft linen blends, lightweight denim, 4 to 22. So again, kind of leaning toward that junior sizing. Um, there is no bust, so I don't really know what that's about. Um, and then your waist and hip. Hip has like eight inches of ease, seven and a half, eight inches of ease. And then the waist is, you know, really determined by that elastic. Perfect for pairs. All right, and we've got a couple more. This is a little skirt. Faux wrap skirt has pleats, set inside panel, and asymmetric hem. Straight hem option has contrast panels. All skirts have back waist darts and invisible back zipper. Okay. Yeah, okay, elegant skirt. <laughs> Um, no waistband, you know, it's all the, the facing is what creates your waistband. It's very, um, 1980s working woman, right? The little mini version is kind of cute. I wonder if you can make it in a structured fabric and have it, you know, be a little, I'm imagining like even like a linen or linen blend, you know, maybe that's what I'm like kind of iffy about on her version is just the polyester of it all. <laughs> um, but here are those deep back darts, center back zip. But I'm, I do get like the fanning and like the tropical, like palm, I am getting that looking at some of these other versions and I wonder if like in a, even like a Ponty knit, I think would be really cool. Batik cotton blends, double gauze, linen blends, charmeuse, six to 24 on the size range. Again, they're giving us a bust, even though it doesn't have a bodice, but the hip is three inches of ease. So very much like a pencil skirt. Um, all you need is your seven inch zipper for notions. And then they have for C, a contrast front yoke and left skirt front, which I didn't notice. Yeah, so the back makes it seem like this would be shaded normally, you know, where you can do something different. But the illustrations nor these line drawings show that. But they do give you that option in terms of your how to buy your fabric quantity. Okay, and lastly, we have the super jiffy wrap and tie pant skirt. So you guys have seen this before. Um, I don't know if it is an indie designer or it was a previous uh, big four, but you kind of put them on like a diaper, sort of like it wraps underneath your body and then ties in the front. Uh, so we've seen this design before, but they've just, you know, re-released it. So this is from the 70s. Um, one size fits all. Stitching lines for small, medium, or large sizes in the center seam. Simply sew hems center seams and make casings, insert elastic and ribbon, and you have a super jiffy pant skirt. So it is like a rectangle, I think, 
and you loop one underneath your body, tie it off. The other one goes to the back of your body and you tie it off. Something along those lines. Oh, here, yeah, here's the design, the, the pattern piece. And this is where your crotch goes. And I don't know, it wraps around you in some magical way to give you this look. So for all of those of you who like just cannot stand a jumpsuit or a romper because you have to get naked to go to the bathroom, this is even worse than that <laughs> because you have like nothing on your bottom half whatsoever. Um, but it is kind of cool and fabric wise, three and one eighth of a yard cut crosswise. So keep that in mind with your directional fabrics. Um, three sizes, small, medium, large, they all come in one envelope. Um, and it equates to like a 10 to 20 in the numerical sizing. The waist, no, that's finished side length from waist. So I guess it's all pretty much adjustable or very loose fitting in the waist and hip. So cool. Oh, there's also elastic in this one too, which I can't say that I have seen that before, but that's kind of cool that you get even more of like a cinched situation happening. They do look really cool, right? I mean, maybe not so much on the actual human model. I don't really know what, what this is all about, but well, I don't know. It is like, it's like a pants in the front and skirt in the back. Is that what's happening? I really thought this was like the, yeah, it is definitely the wrap through, but the wrap through just makes a skirt in the back. I don't know. I like it more in the illustration. What does that mean? Hmm. It would be super great for, well, like they kind of did in the, on the model for the border print fabrics. Cause you know, you're not really cutting up many, much of the design at all. Um, but relaxed fit, straight leg overalls and ankle and cropped links have adjustable shoulder straps attaching to bib with overall buckles. Features bib and back patch pockets, front yoke and pockets, button closures and top stitched details. So it's your overalls. Um, I don't know why they have these straps so long on her. Like, isn't the bib supposed to be way up here? And then therefore her waist seam is where her waist seam is supposed to be. And also her crotch is where her crotch is supposed to be. Like, why is all of this, maybe the length ended up being funky. I don't know why they have it styled like that. That's a little bit better. Again, with the paintbrushes. Yeah, relaxed fit overalls is really what we've got here. I do like them with the little wedge, little block heel. There's the back. Yeah, I can't say I love what's happening through here, but I'm trying to be a little more forgiving of it because it is relaxed fit overalls after all. Easy to sew. Yeah, there's just like a front and a back and then a whole bunch of like pockets and straps denim twill chino corduroy cotton types linen types poplin I'd probably get this and make them into shorts too I can imagine it being really great out at the garden you know all of that um alphanumeric sizing okay 6 to 24 is the equivalent bust waist hip is here no um width finished garment measurements, probably because it's so loose fitting. And then two, three yards of fabric, basically. Okay. Let's look at these line drawings. So they do give you like an actual waistband. So I was wrong. I thought that the front was just like this, uh, but it's not. You actually have some horizontal seams and these pockets and a faux fly. And then the back just, they just eliminated all the details from the back. So there's no waistband in the back. 
yeah, they're overalls. And overalls are like having a moment, especially loose fitting jumpsuits and all of that. So I get it. We've got, um, oh, what's his name? The guy with the dog kids show blues clues. Look at this guy. Where did they find this guy? Oversized knit polo shirts have long or short sleeves. Options for contrast sleeves, collars, and pockets. Teens, misses, and men's shirts. He just thinks he is cooler than cool. Look at this guy. <laughs> is he wearing a headband? I do like the polo dress a lot. That is really cute and fun. Especially in like this pink and red. That is really cute. Yeah, she's feeling it too with her little hair braid. The sleeves are interesting with the little gathers. Stop it. He must work there or something. Like, he is not giving professional model. <laughs> the illustration, that doesn't look very good. That looks, it looks way better on her. The men's shirt is really cool, though. Golf shirt-esque. Country club vibes. Yeah, I love this. There's not, not much to it, obviously, but I think it looks really cute. So we've got stretch knits only, interlock, ponty, ity, bamboo, terry knit. Yeah, I don't know what polos are normally not made from any of this. Contrast collar and placket are cotton blends, and then lightweight fusible interfacing. We've got the extra, extra small to the 2XL because we're covering teens and men's. So it's equivalent from, to a 28 to 52 in the size range. And for finished bust measurements, that's a 33 to 57. Lots of ease, like, what is that? Four or five inches of ease in the bust. And I think we can pretty much assume the lower edge is the same measurement as the hip. Because it seems to be very rectangular. Um, if that's the case, then 34, about four inches of ease in the hip. Cute. Let's look at the line drawings and see if there's anything. Yeah, I don't know if it's that fabric that she's wearing or what, but even she looks better than the line drawings, and that's usually pretty rare. Usually the line drawings are always cuter. Not always, but um, they're either as cute or cuter. But on this occasion, she's really selling it for me. If I had only seen this, I'd have been like, no, thank you. But her version's really cute. Okay, now we've got a couple of swimsuits, which I don't know what I'm looking at when I look at a swimsuit, but here's this. Um, obviously comes in two size ranges, equally cute on both of them. We've got a hat and bag, some more bags, a chair. Are you telling me you can make a chair? Oh, it's a cover. I was like, what the heck? How do you make a chair? Um, that's kind of cool. It's like made out of Terry. So it's like, you don't have to bring your towel to the pool. Um, we've got a costume corset this other men's costume a little girls stuff what is that a jacket oh adaptive gown a recovery gown sweet we've got a cute little baby stuff little stuffies we've got oh no Oh, no. So when your dog has to wear the cone of shame, you can make them these little cones instead. Look, it's an orange. Well, that's fun. And then fabric. What are these? Sewing room accessories. 
All right, so a lot of fun, like, accessories and some home decor children's and all that kind of stuff here at the end. Oh, my God, a belt. Well, that's super fun. Anyways, um, okay, so that is our Simplicity Collection. What do we think? I am definitely going to grab some of these, for sure. Um, no doubt about it. I think for sure uh, the one vintage pattern. Um this one, this one, this one. <laughs> yeah, the next time they have a sale, I can see myself grabbing a bunch of these, even if I don't ever intend to make like the pants on this, for example. I did love that top. Um, loved the pants on this, but not the top or what was it? That was this one. I like the top and pants on this one. Anyway, so yeah, I can see myself grabbing a lot of these. I'm feeling really good about the direction we're going now um, with Simplicity. We'll have Vogue's summer collection on Friday, so be sure to come back for that. Um, but otherwise, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will see you all very soon. Bye.